of the NBA regular season. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Ernie Johnson, joined by my colleagues and my friends. Oh, wow. My buds. There we go. Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Our game tonight featuring the Cleveland Cavaliers as they go up against the Phoenix Suns out in Phoenix. For Phoenix, they haven't forgotten the fact that this team swept them last year in the regular season. This is a game they had circled going in. And what a joy to behold opening night of a new NBA season. A fresh start for everybody, including us. Shaq, what are you looking forward to this year? Well, some of the almost teams that couldn't get over the hump last year, I'm interested already to see if they've taken that next step. It's always interesting to see the young players and how they develop during the offseason. Were you partying or were you practicing? Ooh, I like the party practice thing, the P or the P. But I'll tell you what, this is the time of optimism. When everyone says it's a fresh start at 0-0, we should all be in the mix. But that's not reality. But I like the op optimism right now. Fantastic. Uh, yeah. Opening night, fresh start. You, have you lost weight? Yes, look, I have. You look tremendous. I really have. Thank you, Ernie. Shaq, uh, just a physical specimen. That's all I can say. Was that a low blow, Ernie? It was not, as a matter of fact. You look great. It's been a, I'm really you know, it's, we had an off season, and, and here we are, and you look like you're in game shape. Because I'm really optimistic about the question. Oh, oh you throw a big word, I throw a big word. Optimism, one, optimistic. Ah, uh, but it don't word. matter. It's still a big word. Okay. Uh, That'll wrap it up as we take you courtside. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. You yeah. do. You, re you look great. And yes, Ernie, I lost two pounds over the whole summer. <laughs>
first quarter, just over a minute played. Outside Irving. And Chandler sends it down. What well, tremendous instincts and great position. Chandler scoping that one the entire way. It's a pick by Love. Irving from long range. And that one is off. For the Phoenix Suns, they're coming off a good outing against Dallas. Booker outside. At the elbow, Chandler. Good D from Love. And the D does just enough to throw off his rhythm on that shot. Irving, good. You know, what you love about Kyrie is that he's always prepared to shoot when he is roaming in space. They've been looking out of sync offensively. And they need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. He needs to complete that opportunity. Really shocking. He botched that one. LeBron wishes to Thompson. Good, and the assist goes to James. Thompson's got his second basket of the game. Defensively, that possession better not start a trend because they just handed him two points. If you're the coach, you hope it's a wake-up call. Get them to tighten things up on the inside and start protecting the rim with a little bit more authority. Here's Chris. Just five to shoot. Tucker. And just miss after miss right now. Yeah, slow start right now. Five straight misses to get this one going. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Irving kicks to Love. Shoots from 14, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. They've wasted no time settling into their offense. Bloodsoe outside. Pass to Chris. And Tucker kicks to Bloodsoe. Out to the wing. Bloodsoe can't get that one to drop. The Cavaliers leading by nine. In the corner, Irving with it. And another three for Cleveland. And you can't help but pick their defense apart. They're completely in disarray. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. And looking deeper at some postseason numbers, here's a look at the distribution of three-point and two-point shot attempts for the Suns. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Chandler is screen. Down low. To halt the run. And it's good. Walk through contact. It's the shot. He'll go to the free throw line. Well, you watch Earl Watson coaching the Suns team. It's easy to see why they wanted him. He seems to connect really easily with these guys. Great motivator. We'll always have this group fighting from start to finish. And with Watson, the coach, not only is he a great motivator, but he also knows how to develop all the young players on the roster. Well, I think, Kevin, initially, Watson was brought in to help with player development. And that's the exact kind of background you want right now if you're the Suns. And first and foremost, Watson brings leadership to this ball club. Here's Liggins. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Thompson misses. Yeah, 
terrific all-around effort from the defense. They were not going to let him finish over them. Bledsoe kicks it to Tucker. Chandler is screened, and here's Booker from the arc. A shot missing. The Cavaliers leading by 10. James, the pass to Thompson, stolen by Bledsoe. And Tucker has it in the corner. That three off the mark. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. Outside Irving. Love with the screen on Bloodsaw. Irving kicks to Love. And another miss by Cleveland. Suns trail by 10. They've been looking out of sync offensively. And they need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Back to Tucker. Now the pass to Chris. Lock at six. Dishes it to Tucker. A three ball. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. LeBron's got three rebounds now in this one. It's a pick by Love. Now here's LeBron. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Cleveland needs to get a shot off here. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Now we'll go to David Aldrich, who had a chance to talk with head coach Earl Watson. Well, Kevin, when I asked him about the defensive game plan, he said they have to clog up the middle and deny clean looks at the basket. If they can do that, he thinks they'll have the upper hand. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David. Now, here is Irving. He's got six to stop the drought, and the ball goes out of bounds. Nice touch by Love. All right, a chance to check out the numbers for Kevin Love. A very nice season for him last year. He put in about 16 points a game last year, 10 rebounds and two assists. And he brings that offensive firepower to the team. Scoring just comes naturally. And that'll prompt Earl Watson to break here. Timeout call. And the Suns making a change here. Warren's checked in. A switch here also for Cleveland. Shumpert's checked in. Here's Chris. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. Booker outside. It. Two points with a chance for one more at the free throw line. How about the ability to adjust after the contact? Booker, the score in the end one. Jared Dudley's checked in for Chris. The Suns have gone 0 for 1 at the line. This is their second trip to the line tonight. Free throw, good Booker. And Doris with the behind the scenes access you've had for so many years. There are some things that fans don't get a chance to see, experience in the NBA. Yeah, I think one thing that uh, I marvel at is how seriously these men take their job. This is not, a, yes, they are well compensated, but by and large, these men will take your heart out to get a spot on an NBA roster. And it's their vocation as opposed to their job. Uh, 
These men are passionate about the league. They have incredible work habits, and I'm in awe of how hard they work. Are you surprised, too, at the playbook? I, I, people just think these plays just kind of happen. Every play is, I mean, there is some script or design for every play. It drives me crazy when people say they'll only watch the NBA in the final two minutes because that's when the game's decided. We are talking about the best players, the best athletes, and the best coaching there is in any level. And to me, you're doing a disservice if you don't watch the full 48. Great points. Here's Shumpert following the basket by T.J. Warren. Shot to end this cold run, and Love finishes off inside. And the Cavaliers lead by seven. Hey, guys, that's a solid contest on the defensive end of the floor. That's just Love being better on the offensive end than the defense is. Bloodzone is just to Chandler. He got right to the cup using that screen. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. The Phoenix Suns come into this one after the win against the Mavericks in Dallas. Love against Dudley. And on the way from Irving for three. Another miss by Irving. If you were shooting even a little better, they would have a much bigger lead. Bloods are with him. He hasn't scored yet. That I'm sure will change. Six on the shot clock. Warren against Thompson. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. And a moment here now to see the numbers for LeBron James. Great showing for him last season. Fifth in scoring, ninth in assists, and a great touch around the rim. Top 15 in field goal percentage. Bledsoe against Irving. He feeds it to Shumpert. Love outside. LeBron against Warren. The 19-foot shot. The dive for the ball. Out of bounds. Phoenix takes possession. And now, here's the 2K leaderboard with the teams that last season scored the most second-chance points in the NBA. The Suns' fifth. That's an effort stat for me. I mean, it shows you how hard this team works in the paint. They continue to pound the backboard. Suns trail by five. And here's Bledsoe. They set the pick. Up top, Dudley. Back to Bledsoe. There's the triple. The shot goes in. First of the night. He's one for three to start the game. Not always the most consistent perimeter threat, but Bledsoe makes the defense pay on this one. Shumpert passes to LeBron. And James throws it down hard. And when he plays with that kind of attacking basketball, almost impossible to stop near the rim. And the highlight reel replay brought to you by Kia. Good stuff on that Kia slam cam. Wadzo kicks to Warren. Inside, another shot. And there's Booker on the assist by Warren. Booker's got five now. Uh, you love it when guys play bigger than you think they are. Booker proving that he's not just a threat from the outside. Now here's LeBron. LeBron with a screen on Warren. And that's a foul called on T.J. Warren. That's his first foul. Phoenix making some changes. Alex Lenz checked in for Chandler. Barbosa comes in for Booker. And Knight subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. Channing Fries checked in for Cleveland. Jefferson comes in for Kevin Love. We've got 148 left to play here in the first. Here's Irving. The feet to front. LeBron, that's a two-pointer. Hands the shot with nobody near him. LeBron's got his second bucket of the game to go. Uh, LeBron was anticipating that catch and shoot. Nicely done. You know, Channing Fry, guys, a guy acquired by Cleveland last season at the trade deadline. I think he's been crucial. The ability to space the court at either power forward or center and on a very reasonable contract. Now Irving. Brandon Knight missing on the three. And it's going to be two free throws. True contact on the shot. 
But to Doris, you look at advanced statistics. Channing Fry, a better player than some might realize. Well, I think, Kevin, rebounding is where he hurts you. Underrated defensively and, of course, close to 40% from three-point range. That provides spacing for all of their star talent. He's off on the first. I think one of the things I admire about LeBron James is that he realizes his influence should go beyond basketball. I mean, this is the highest earning player in the NBA. But let's keep in mind, this is a guy who's created a business empire. Movies, TV shows, marketing company, sports agency, you name it. His ambition's not limited just between the lines winning titles. And the second free throw, good. And for LeBron, his contract with the Cavaliers represents less than a third of his overall earnings. It's amazing. Well, how about, Kevin, they call him the king. How about the owner? If he endorses a brand, he doesn't just charge a fee. He wants an ownership stake. It's his goal to become a billionaire and make an impact on a much greater level than just basketball. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Following the score by Phoenix, they set the pick. There's 42 seconds left here in the first quarter. Shot clock at six. Off the pick. And there's the foul on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. And there's the foul against Phoenix. I love seeing LeBron James back in wine and gold, guys. I mean, I think he's here where he belongs and isn't going anywhere else. You know, nevertheless, he's kept that player option after every season, something that gives him a lot of control over his future. First one falls for him. And LeBron with a huge voice, it seems, in the Cavaliers' decision-making. Everything from roster decisions, Doris, to who's the head coach. Well, there's always a lot of questions about how much power LeBron wields in any organization he plays for. It would be a tricky balance for any head coach because you're in the lead role. Uh, for LeBron, he's a great player, and he wants to put greatness around him. Both free throws good from James. And for the Suns, a lot was made of players wanting out and demanding trades. Doris, maybe their biggest obstacle has been the health of Eric Bledsoe. Right. It's debatable, Kevin. Top 20, top 30 when he's healthy, but he's now torn his meniscus in both knees. This is a player with elite athleticism, and that's part of what makes him special. Injuries tough to predict and can force a franchise to revise their timelines. Here's Irving. And stolen by Knight. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Cavaliers lead by five. 2K Sports back to Phoenix after this. And let's hear from Tyson Chandler. He talked about what he brings to this team. I do a lot that doesn't show up on the stat sheet. That's what I pride myself on. You know, some nights you're not going to get the ball, but uh, you still can be effective on the floor, uh, whether that's rebounding, playing defense, hustling, trying to create extra shots for your team, whatever it is necessary that I feel like help my team get a win. Chandler has long been the kind of player all coaches want on their team. He's the definition, Greg, of an unselfish player who doesn't care about his ego or his stats. And, and, and he knows that and, and prides himself on it. That, that also makes him the kind of player his teammates appreciate so much because they know nobody wins any rings without a guy like Tyson Chandler on the team. All right, the second quarter beginning in just a moment. And from what we've seen from the Cavaliers, what do you guys see? Defense paying huge dividends for them through the first. You know, this is a savvy group. They know when to body up and play physical and when to back off. So on the floor for Cleveland, they've got Jefferson, Channing Fry out there with LeBron James, and it's Kyrie Irving, and it's Shumpert in at the shooting guard and they can up the ante a little bit there after that basket. Yeah, you know, their lead's starting to get a little bit more comfortable here. A lot of work to be done, but they're headed in the right direction. Barbosa wishes the land. And there's the whistle, fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. That's called on Channing Fry. 
Well, I'll tell you, with young bigs, you always have to be patient. But with Alex Lynn, he is growing rapidly. Flourished when given the chance to start in his sophomore season. He still has a long way to go, guys, but rapidly improving his game and looking Two like shots. he's on the verge of a breakout. And the first one at the line is good. Doors with Glenn, the improvement is there, as you can see. Still has a lot of trouble finding consistency, perhaps, on the offensive side. But he has a lot of time to develop. I think, Kevin, what's important for Len is just keeping confidence growing when he's on the floor and letting the game slow down a bit. He gets in trouble when he feels the need to rush things or force a play. But, boy, with his improvement, you can tell he might have a chance. One thing you know you're getting with Alex Lynn is size. He's legit 7-1. He can be intimidating with his size on the floor. And he has some pretty easy moves for a player that size. I think Kevin Lynn is continuing to find ways to make the most of his height and length. That spot-up jumper has a high release. Very hard to bother that one. And he's just got to find consistency with that baby hook. Nobody is going to be able to get to that shot when he releases it. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Well, Kevin, Kyrie Irving was a virtuoso ball handler when he came into the league. He could penetrate at will and get to the rim. With all the injuries over the years, he's made an adjustment to that. He said, I enjoy finishing around the big men, but honestly, I'm trying to stay off the floor. I'm not going to stop trying to get to the basket, but the big men we have don't have to do it every single time. We all learned that lesson over the years, Kevin. Pay the price going in there, don't you, D.A.? Thank you. And here is Irving. Following the three from Dragon Bender. Night against Irving. And there's the feed to Fry. The dish to Irving. Six to shoot. He tries for three. Shumper, no good. Suns trail by three. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. Glenn, a screen. Bender with a wide open look. Can't tie it up as that one's no good. You know, it's been hard for him to find the range this quarter, but I do like his aggressiveness. And Fry slams it in. Boy, you really have to like the control of Shumpert there. Let's the play develop and made the pass for an easy hoop. Nice. Bender kicks to Len. Outside night, back to Len. So he gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. If you look at the Cavs' offense, I think there's a lot to like. They can shoot it, they're sure-handed with the basketball, and they're very good at attacking the offensive glass. This is his second trip to the line in this one. And from the two line shots. a season ago, 73%. And the first one at the line is good. And Doris, you talk about the offensive rebounding for the Cavaliers with Tristan Thompson and Kevin Love. Uh, you've got your hands full. Oh, Kevin, these are elite players on the offensive glass. And as a defense, it's hard enough containing LeBron and Kyrie. Now you bring help. Their bigs are at the rim cleaning up any misses. What a great recipe for success. Both free throws, good from Len. Well, Doris, to get through a, an entire NBA season, you got to be tough. I mean, physically tough, mentally tough. Which do you think in the league right now exude and show you night in and night out that kind of toughness? Well, the guy I marvel at in terms of the ferocity with which he plays is Russell Westbrook. And I don't think I've ever seen that dynamic a player at the lead guard position. The athleticism, the ability when he gets to the rack to just like, I mean, it's an assault on the rim. Confidence, too. I mean, your confidence That's has right. got to be just boundless, don't oh, you think? I mean, to to, to believe that you're the best player in the league. And I, I think it, to me, is his greatest attribute is his confidence. I thought Jordan was about the toughest guy mentally and physically that I had ever seen. Wasn't the biggest, wasn't the strongest. But what he showed, I think, led his team. Yeah, I mean, I, listen, I would agree with you yeah. on Michael all time. That's, that was the banished man to ever do it. No <laughs> doubt about it. <laughs> and Bender throws it down. Now that shows a sign of maturity, guys. Everyone expecting Knight to try and score it. Instead, he finds the open man. The Cavaliers leading by four. To the middle. 
line drive kicks to Liggins. Out of bounds. Phoenix will take possession. Let's see the stat sheet here on Jared Dudley. How he performed last season. Averaged eight points a game. Three rebounds and two assists. And the numbers won't wow you, but I like the effort he brings to the table each and every night. Now here's Bender. He has five. Knight passes to Len. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. We have a break in the action. We go to the 2K leaderboard. We see the teams that excelled at slowing the pace down a campaign ago. The Cavaliers fourth. I mean, they held opponents to so few points that it allowed them to win games even when their offense wasn't clicking. And that one misses. And they're getting to the line a lot in this quarter, guys, and it hasn't been by accident. Some changes for Phoenix. P.J. Tucker comes in for Bender. And it's Booker in for Leandro Barbosa. And a switch here also for Cleveland. Thompson's checked in. Second free throw, no good. And for the Cavaliers, third time was that charm, right? Three finals appearances in their last 46 years as a franchise, and they finally win the title. To hang that banner, guys, what a tremendous accomplishment. Now here's Love. Devin Booker missing his last shot. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter, and now you can see him getting into a rhythm. The Cavaliers have shot 75% at the line tonight, going three for four. We throw good Jefferson. And the Suns going through the longest playoff drought in the franchise's history. Six seasons, Doris, and counting. Well, think back to 2014, Kevin, when they win 48 games and still miss the playoffs. Tough break there. We've seen the conferences become more balanced, but there's a long time where good just wasn't good enough in the Western Conference. Trains the three-pointer. Tucker's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. I'm not the most efficient long-range shooter, but Tucker hits enough of those to space out the defense. Feeds it to Thompson. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And Tristan Thompson has improved his scoring efficiency, Doris, every season in the NBA. Yeah, I mean, listen, Kevin, this is not a go-to scorer, more of a garbage buckets type player, but he's learning how to be effective. And he's also improving as a decision maker. Last season, his best ever assist to turnover ratio. free throw no good yeah Thompson not really the guy who's going to punish you consistently for sending him to the free throw line and he's good on the second and Tristan Thompson, one of the premier offensive rebounders in the game. Second overall, in fact, in offensive rebounds last year. Look, Kevin, this is a guy who makes his living around the rim. He runs rim to rim. Uh, terrific on the pick and roll. He's a smart cutter. Does a good job lurking on the baseline for drop-offs or second-chance points. Shot clock at five. Here's Tucker. The three-pointer no good. Ooh, his shot is way off. Someone else is going to have to step up scoring-wise if they're going to be competitive. Liggins dishes to Love. The screen from Thompson. Kicks it to Irving. Jumper off the screen. That falls. Great assist by Love. Eight points for Kyrie Irving. What a silky jumper from Kyrie there in the face of some pretty staunch defense. Takes a lot of pressure to throw his shot off. Here's Booker. Not enough on that one as it misses. Just needs to take his time there. He had all the space in the world to shoot. And Thompson kicks to Liggins. Love. Len grabs the board. And that's the way you want to defend. Nice job there. Yeah, as we just saw, you don't always have to get the block to make a defensive impact. 
And Jared Dudley has always been a player who seemingly plays Doris larger than his size. And it isn't so much that Dudley is a power forward, Kevin. He's only 6'7", but he can give you minutes there and not hurt your team. And with so many teams needing to have a small ball lineup as an option, Dudley allows a coach to make that move if the time calls for it. I mean, the versatility Dudley brings to a rotation is one of the most valuable aspects about having him on your roster. Doris, we know you were a standout point guard in the Big East for Providence. What players do you feel have a similar approach to the point guard position that you played so well in the NBA now? Well, I, I was not your necessarily traditional setup point guard. I was a player who liked to get to the rim and get to the free throw line a ton. So I would say uh, somebody like Kyrie Irving, who, who wants to be a dynamic scorer, handle is there. Uh, so I didn't mind passing, Kevin, but I wanted to score it too. See, I picture you as like a Chris Paul leader. Yeah could do both equally well. You could you could dish as well as anybody, but drive as well as anybody, too. Not You're this. probably being modest. Here. I'm not being modest. I was pretty tough, too. You didn't like to play <laughs> against me. <laughs> but I like broadcasting with you. <laughs> Back at you. And the Cavs are clearly an elite offensive team. Defensively, they've been a little more vulnerable. Doris, how do they make strides, you think, at that end of the floor? Well, Kevin, part of it is simply focus and the will to improve. Players like Kyrie Irving and Tristan Thompson are great athletes, and they can improve on that end. I think they've needed another wing stopper who can space the floor as well. The Cavaliers leading by six. Now Irving. He's got eight. Love outside. Here's the three. Cans it from downtown. Love's got seven points in the game. Well, Love has worked to diversify his game. You have to guard him from the perimeter or he will burn you. Once so kicks to Chandler. He dishes it to Booker. There's a good screen. Phoenix, no good that time either. You know, something's off. His shot mechanics, perhaps, and they need him to shoot it well right now. Love inside. He's guarded by Dudley. That shot off. Suns trail by nine. Now here's Booker. He has five. Good ball movement here by the Suns. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Yeah, you see Chandler uses his length and guile to take full advantage inside. Chris, he's checked in for Phoenix. And Cleveland with a change here, too. LeBron's checked in for Kevin Love. The Suns have made five of ten free throw attempts. A lot of misses. And certainly the early surprise of the 2015 draft class, Doris, is Devin Booker. Number 13 overall, he could end up being one of the top two or three players in the entire draft class. Well, I think, Kevin, for Booker, a lot of people slept on him because of his college team. Came out of Kentucky, and that team was loaded with talent, headlined by Carl Anthony Towns. He was actually the fourth player off that team to be drafted. Insane that he went just 13th. Here is Bloodson. After the Cavaliers pick up three to the middle. To the paint. Here's Chris. And a great assist by Bunso as that one goes in. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Irving sets a screen for LeBron. Stolen by Bunso. All sorts of time, and the jumper is good. Now just a five-point Cleveland lead. Boy, when he pulls up off the dribble, it is a sudden motion. Bledsoe with the awesome body control. Here's Liggins. Right side, Irving. 
And again, it's Cleveland. His shot's hitting on another level here in the second. I mean, it's looking effortless now. Phoenix has gotten cold from deep in the second quarter, just two of six from long range. Booker outside. He kicks to Chandler. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. You know, for a sh first guy early in his career, Booker's been tremendous finding the open man. Outside Jefferson. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And Cavs coach Teron Liu, very comfortable in his own skin. Doris not intimidated to coach his superstar talent. But Kevin, as you know, the best coaches in this league hold everyone accountable. And remember, Ty Lue has known LeBron since LeBron James was in high school. And you have to love that he engages the big three in conversation, making sure all three are comfortable. And the first one drops. Shumpert is checked in for the Cavaliers. Both free throws good for Jefferson. These Phoenix fans are accustomed to winning basketball. The Suns with one of the top five historic win percentages in NBA history. Yeah, Kevin, fans can get spoiled just like anyone. They have high expectations, and I think the Suns embrace that. Nobody is in this business to lose. They're gunning to get back into the thick of things. And the Cavaliers with possession here. Phoenix able to drain the three. Liggins the pass to LeBron. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. As soon as he caught it, the defense was in his grill. Really impressive. Chandler is screen. Near the three-point line, it's Bledsoe. Another one falls for Phoenix. And boy, has he come alive. Since the start of the second quarter, he has been on fire. Here's Liggins. The screen from Thompson. Off the screen, and the dunk by James. The elevation and athleticism of LeBron at his size, just incredible. Here's Booker, and it's Phoenix scoring again. You know, that's just intelligent basketball. Put that pass exactly where it needed to go to set up the shot. And Shepard kicks to Liggins. Pass to Jefferson. Dishes it to Liggins. Out to Shumpert. Six to shoot. Booker pulls it in. Booker's got three rebounds now in this one. And Tucker has it in the corner. And the go-ahead bucket, no good. Cleveland's gone for the three-pointer seven times here in the second and been successful three times. And Liggins kicks to James. Cleveland moving it around. Pass to Jefferson. There's the three. Rebounded by Tucker. If you're going to screen for your man, screen like you mean it. Bledsoe with Jefferson picks him up. Chandler is screen. And there's the call on Jefferson. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. We'll go to the line to shoot two. The Suns have missed out on some chances at the line today. 0-6 oh, of 11. That's good from Chandler. Well, this is a high character guy. Chandler is a guy who will influence everyone around him in a positive manner. Phoenix making some changes. Bender is checked in for Chris. TJ Warren comes in for PJ Tucker. And it's Barbosa in for Booker. Channing Fries checked in for the Cavaliers. So after making the first, he goes one for two. I wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the backboard. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Liggins dishes to LeBron. LeBron with a screen on Bledsoe. Stolen by Bender. Pass to Bledsoe. 
Let's it go from 11, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Ludzo's got nine. Now this guy's got a really good feel for spacing. Very comfortable shooting that jumper with a hand in his face. And we're through the first half of basketball here and what's been a good one. Suns ahead, leading by just one. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Kyrie, they got themselves going in the second quarter. How do you get control of the game back? It starts with not getting the ball out of the net. You know, we, we got to get stops, and uh, it starts in that end. That, that's where it's really going to start for us. And uh, we just got to continue to compete. That's all. Kyrie, thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. And we'll be back after halftime as the third quarter gets underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here again with Shaq and Kenny. And an exciting time of the year as one of the first games of the regular season is halfway through. For the Suns, the first quarter was pretty even. They did give up a couple baskets more than they wanted to, and at the end of the period, were trailing by five points. In the second quarter, they erased what had been a fairly big deficit at one point, and now here they are sitting on a one-point halftime lead. Kenny, let's start with you. What did you think about the Suns? Well, I thought that turning point was when the bench came in. Those guys really hustled, and they gave the team some energy, and then they started to score baskets. That was a bonus. Looking at Cleveland, Shaq, your thoughts. They ran their offense very well in the first half. There were almost no four shots. It was good, smart basketball. The motion in their offense was terrific. They made those defenders work very hard. I like what I saw from them for the most part. And that'll do it as the second half is just about ready to begin. Back to Kevin Harlan. We will see you after the game. Hey, watch yourself. I'm celebrating with the best. <laughs> the sun pounding down in the buildings of downtown Phoenix as we welcome you back. The third quarter now beginning. Both sides looking to pull away in the last half of the game. It's been one outstanding game from Tyson Chandler. I tell you what, though, it's going to be important to see if they can slow him down in the second half because so far they have not had anybody that can disrupt his rhythm down low. Well, they could try fronting him or bringing a quick double team, but that, of course, creates other problems for your defense. It'll be interesting to see what they do here. Suns leading. Bledsoe teams up with Booker in the backcourt. Frizz is out there with P.J. Tuck. And it's Chandler in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's who's out there for Phoenix. A nice shot by Booker. Booker's got the first points to start out the third quarter for the Suns. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. James with it. Here's the pass to Irving. Here's Love. Lands soft on the front of the rim and drops. Love's got nine points. That's exactly where you want him to be, guys. Love operating so close to the rim, so gifted inside. Here's the dish to Tucker. Chandler is screen. Back to Bledsoe. Stolen by Thompson. Here's the break. No one near James as he lets it go. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. And 11 points for LeBron. The Suns trailing. Bloodsoe outside. Inside. Out to Chandler. This is it to Chris. He feeds it to Bloodsoe. Just five to shoot. Tucker can't get it to go. And for the Cavaliers, they're shooting 51% from the field. They'll take that. And stolen by Booker. Takes it from 10. And there's the call on Chin. That is his first foul of the game. Well, the sneaky first step of Booker. Not a speedster by any means, but still a handful on that drive. Booker's gone 5 of 9, shooting from the floor. 
And here is James. 11 points in the game. Outside Irving for the three. That shot off the mark. And Phoenix the other way now. Bledsoe with it. Guarded now by Irving. They set the pick. Bledsoe passes to Chris. And that's out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. Well, close to picking that one off. Great anticipation. Just a little late getting his hand in there. Six on the shot clock. Some nice ball movement here by the Suns. Again, the miss by Booker. The Cavaliers have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Well, Devin Booker was named Doris as one of the USA select players this past summer. He's a good young player. And don't be fooled into thinking this is just getting named to the practice squad. A lot of All-Stars got their start by playing on the USA select team. I won't be surprised if Mr. Booker is representing his country in international competition in short order. Alex Lenz checked in for the Sun. Brandon Knight comes in for Eric Bloodson. A touch over two and a half minutes of basketball played here in the third quarter. Outside Irving. James kicks to Irving. Phoenix grabs the miss. Lands got his third rebound on the night. Here's Chris. Yes! And the foul. That's on LeBron James. They just killing him on the interior. And Phoenix making a change here. Dudley's checked in. And for the Cavs, they've got some roster versatility in their front court. Do you like them with the traditional seven-footer on the inside, or do you think they're better off going small? Well, I think, Kevin, most of their talent is at that power forward position, and they've got fours with size and strength. They give up a bit of shot blocking with those lineups, but I think the positives outweigh the negatives. Plenty of daylight on that shot. 14 points for Kevin Love. How good is King James at spreading the floor involving everyone on the offensive end? Booker the pass to Chris. The feed tonight. Pass to Chris. Booker outside. Shot clock at five. Here's Knight. Phoenix no good that time either. Cavaliers have gone four or six from the field since the start of the third. The screen from Thompson. Thompson, a screen on Knight. Here's Irving. Again, Irving missing. Looked like it might drop for him, and you know, that has to frustrate him just a bit. That's one of his favorite spots on the floor. There's a good screen. Knight dishes to land. Thompson with the rebound. Thompson's got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. LeBron against Dudley. James kicks to Liggins. Jacks up a three. Another three for Cleveland. And yeah, that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Knight passes to Book. Pass to Chris. Booker kicks to left. Good D by Thompson. Well defended, though, and, and he's not someone who handles that kind of pressure very well. Outside Irving. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. And now a chance to take a look at the shot chart. And you like what they are doing from deep. The three-point shot has been there. And they are taking full advantage. Having that threat from outside also playing a factor in how well they are able to cause the defense to shift. Opening up the lane in their mid-range game as well. He misses the free throw. Listen, LeBron has had some years where his free throw percentage has not been as high as you'd like, but for the most part, pretty solid. A different look now for Cleveland. Fry comes in for Thompson, and it's Jefferson in for DeAndre Liggins. He hits the second from the line. 
Suns trail by six. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. They set the pick to the inside. Takes it out to Booker. And it's going to be a three-second call. And here we can check out the story on Kyrie Irving. Good season for him last year. He averaged about 19 points a game last year. Four assists and three rebounds. And I think he's got to be pretty pleased with his outfit. And you know he's always looking to push himself. Now, here is Irving. Ten points for him. Fry. Yes! And it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got his fourth assist in this one. Yeah, guys, that takes vision and timing to put it on time and on target. Here's Knight. He hasn't yet put up any points in this one. Feeds it to land. And he drops in the way up off the glass. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Irving from long range. Chris with the rebound. He's trying to make something happen, but obviously been a tough quarter. Out to the wing. Dudley dishes the land. And off the front iron, and in it goes. Now just a four-point Cleveland lead. For Cleveland, they've gone six of ten from the field in the third quarter. Irving kicks to LeBron. And the dunk by James. And guys, you can feel the electricity in the air when LeBron gets the ball. He is grooving right now. And the Suns time call time, time here. Starting. some changes. Bender is checked in for Alex Land. Warren comes in for Chris. And it's Barbosa in for Devin Booker. Iman Shumpert is checked in for Cleveland. Get open! Get open! Knight passes to Barbosa. And again, it's the Suns missing. And this has been an outstanding display on the boards, and it's a big part of why they have a lead Good. in this game. Good. Doing the dirty work down low. What's up? And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. And Shanning Fry, a three-point specialist of 6'11", it's a shot he didn't really utilize in earnest until his fifth year in the league. And think about it, Kevin. It's like he flipped a switch. It's become the staple of his offensive game, and he's a trendsetter in that regard. Very tough to defend that pick and pop at the top of the key. Now, here is Knight. No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pocket six. Fires from deep. No good on that one. And Cleveland the other way now. They've held a 12-point lead early. Here's Love. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Suns trail by nine. Bender kicks to Barbosa. Let's it go from deep. And it's Barbosa again missing. Cleveland's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Jefferson's shot is off. Phoenix has gotten off to a very slow start from three-point range in the second half. They're 0 for 4. Suns moving the ball around. Knight on the wing. He's covered by Irving. 
Knight against Irving. Count that one. And the Cleveland lead has been cut to just seven on the basket from Knight. We're talking about one of the more dangerous long-range shooters in the game. Knight knows he's got talent and not afraid to show it. Now here is Irving. Ten points for him. Looking to get it going. And that's two points on the layup. Irving's got 12 in the game. Well, I don't like the passivity of this defense at all. They can't be giving him free access to the hoop. You might as well roll out the red carpet. <laughs> well said. Here is Knight. Oh, Barbosa. The Suns need to get a shot off. Shoots. Wow, way off on that. Cleveland leading by nine on the wing, Irving. Money from the wing. He's got 14. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Knight into the lane. And yes, it's good. Well, this is what makes Knight so difficult to contend with. Routinely hit shots with a hand in his face. Now here's Irving. 14 points for him. Kicks to Love. He dishes it to Irving. That doesn't go in either for Irving. Knight in the corner. From outside the arc. Again, the miss by Knight. He really had no excuse not to make that shot. Hopefully it won't shake his confidence. Irving kicks to jump to the inside. The kick out to Irving. Shoots the three. That falls. Great assist by Love. Love's got three assists in the game. His first triple of the second half. That makes three for the game. And Dudley kicks to Knight. Tries from 10. Bounces high off the rim and drops. Knight's got his third basket of the night right there. After being held scoreless in the first, he's turning it on here in the second. It's a pick by Love. Outside Irving. Launches a three. Another three for Cleveland. Yeah, Kyrie coming to play today. So good at finding ways to step up his game. Up top, Knight, covered by Irving. Bender dishes to double. Here's Knight, and he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Knight's got eight points. You know, after a first half of poor shooting, he is turning up the heat now. There's the screen. Dishes to Fry. He kicks it to Love. Back to Fry. Love the pass to Fry. And Fry slams it in. That guy's not sure how many big men could have found that open man that quick. Great play from Kevin Love there. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. It's Knight with the drive. Again, the miss by Knight. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Irving kicks to Jefferson. Fry. That's tipped. And shooters have to be more careful when Bender is nearby. He's so skilled at rejecting shots. And as we end the third quarter, a double digit deficit will make it tough to come back. The Cavaliers lead by 13. And do not go away as we'll be back in just a few moments with the start of our fourth quarter coming up next. Welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. The Cavaliers leading by 13 on the court for Cleveland. Shumpert and LeBron are out on the perimeter. Channing Fry out there with Tristan Thompson. And it's Irving at the one spot. 
Warren with the ball. He's picked up by LeBron. Out to Chandler. The pass to Barbosa. Shumpert with the steal. And here we go. Shumpert running it up the court. On its way from Irving for two. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Here's Warren. The dish to Bledsoe. Back to Warren. And stolen by James. Chandler with the steal. Here's the break. 14 feet away. The shot that time, not on target. Some solid defense there from Irving. Left side, Shumpert. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. LeBron's got six assists here tonight. Oh, you love to see Shumpert get down and dirty underneath, finding ways to score inside. Such a scrappy player. Now here is Barbosa. Bloodsoe outside. Just five to shoot. Here's Bender. Off target with his three. Outstanding perimeter defense there. That was a well-contested shot. It's about awareness and an ability to get out on the shot and disrupt without fouling. Beautiful. Suns trail by 15. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Passes it to Bledsoe. A baseline J. Buries the jump shot. Well, a guy who usually likes to take it all the way to the rack. Bledsoe's developing a nice in-between game. Outside Irving. James sets the screen for Irving. He feeds it to LeBron. Outside Jumper. Another miss by Jumper. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. Barbosa's shot is off. You know what? You just cannot get much better of a look than that one. Yeah, that's the look you're working toward with your offense. It hurts when you don't hit it. Now, here's Warren. After LeBron James's miss, Barbosa pushes to Bender. Off target from three-point range. Cleveland leading by 13. James outside. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. With the floater, he lays it in. Boy, when he's in rhythm like this, the whole team benefits. His scoring efficiency gives them a major advantage. Timeout called the Suns. Kyrie Irving really making a difference here. We know he's deadly from deep. I don't think they expect to shut him down, but they've had a very tough time even containing him. You've got to make a strategy change here. Some changes for Phoenix. Chris, he's checked in for Bender. P.J. Tucker comes in for T.J. Warren. And it's Devin Booker in for Leandro Barbosa. And a switch here also for Cleveland. DeAndre Liggins, he's checked in for Channing Fry. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alden. Kevin, thanks. Earl Watson talking to his team during the break. He was not happy with their play. He told them, we're getting outworked out there. Simple as that. We've got to dial up our effort. Kevin, we'll see if we have enough to get it done. Thank you, David. And that's out of bounds. Cleveland will retain possession. And that's just carelessness there. I mean, you have got to have your head in the game.
Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Irving. There's the three. It's hauled in by the Suns. Booker's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Bledsoe outside. And it's sent back by Irving. Now Cleveland moving it up. And stolen by Booker. And now the Suns, a fast break. Plays it in off the breakaway. Yeah, part of that is recognizing the spacing. And Booker so good at finishing on the break. James outside. The screen from Thompson. Six on the shot clock. Nobody near Irving. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Irving's got 12 points here in the second half. They really want to find that igniter here. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Chandler with the screen on Irving. Ludzo passes to Chandler. Here's Liggins. And the shot falls short this time. Guys, there's still time for them to make a run. Can't have any wasted possessions down the stretch. Out left to the wing. Bloodso kicks it to Tucker. Out of bounds, Cleveland takes possession. Boy, that's, that's a bit of a mental lapse. An embarrassing error to give up a possession. And Cleveland making a change here. Love's checked in. For the Cleveland Cavaliers, they won their last contest that game against the Nets in Brooklyn. James with it. Left side, Love to the paint. And he makes no mistake on the slam dunk. And there is that great passing ability from Love. It makes him such a dynamic offensive threat. Bledsoe kicks to Booker. And here's Tucker. Pass to Chris. And Tucker has it in the corner. And again, it's the Suns missing. Uh, neither coach nor his teammates are pleased with the way he's playing. He's simply got to adjust his shot selection. James kicks to Irving. LeBron outside. Back to Love. The screen from Thompson. Unloads from 13. And a big pounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Liggins has got four points this quarter. Wow, risky shot there, size-wise, but the incredible skill that he possesses allows that one to go. Oh, no doubt. I mean, because of the size difference, that's probably not the one-on-one -on -one matchup they'd like to go to very often, but it worked that time. Now, here's Bledsoe. Here's Tucker. And he can't stop this drought. Another miss. Irving dishes to LeBron. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free-throw line here. And we all know how skilled Kevin Love is offensively, a guy who can score in the low block and Doris step out and hit the triple. What about his play on the defensive end? So this is the conversation, right, Kevin? And I think he's better than he's been given credit for. Certainly, he's not an elite defender, but his defensive rebounding is elite. And not having to bear the offensive burden that he did in Minnesota, he's become more than solid defensively. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Now, you think about Kevin Love deciding that he would return to Cleveland, a shiny new five-year, $110 million contract. And he had to sit with LeBron first and discuss how he could perhaps do more to help the team win. Let's remember, this was a big-time guy in Minnesota. And Kevin Love knew when he joined the Cavaliers that it would be in a different role. Instead of being the go-to guy he was in Minnesota, he is now more or less the third option. Yeah, and I think, Kevin, obviously, for the Cavs, you want to make sure you can try to continue to feature him offensively, even if that's by staggering minutes with LeBron's. You want to keep him engaged and take advantage of his talents. He's off on the second. 
And last season was cut short for blood, so if you remember, went down with a torn meniscus that kept him out for about half the season. And Doris, they really put the nail in the coffin for the Phoenix Sun season. And I think, Kevin, a tough blow for Bledsoe, who had looked to take another jump in terms of his productivity. Knee injury scary for point guards, and so you're happy the Suns took their time with Bledsoe. You know, he's got the type of game that lends itself to collisions and falling because he attacks the rim, so let's hope he avoids that in the future. The Cavaliers leading by 22. James kicks to Love. It's Irving, top of the key. And no good. Excellent D there from Bledsoe. For the three, Chandler. It's good on the putback. Yeah, because of his length and toughness, so difficult to stop Chandler from converting off the window. Now Irving. Back to LeBron. Stolen by Bloodsoe. Unloads from nine. Booker the pass to Bloodsoe. Booker left side. Back to Tucker. Good ball movement here by the Suns. Just five to shoot. Near the three-point line, it's Bloodsoe. And an air ball on that one. Way off. LeBron dishes to Liggins. And Doris, many players have said the league has become softer over the years. In your view, has the league moved away from a physical brand of basketball? Well, because you've been calling this league longer than I have, I, I'm throwing this question back at you. Uh, you look at a guy with the frame and game of Steph Curry. Could he have been successful in the era that the New York Knicks and the Miami Heat were basically hand-to-hand -hand combat on a nightly basis? I think he would have found a way. I think it would have been more difficult. Whether he'd be as prolific as now, I don't know. I think the game has the essence of all the best parts of the physicality without being the drudgery of every play being hand-to-hand -hand combat. I, I think as a fan, uh, I would agree because the Showtime Lakers were my favorite team growing up. They played with pace. They played with fluidity. Mm -hmm. You had the, the back-to-the-basket center. You had the hyper-athletic power forward. You, you, know, you had Michael Cooper guarding, uh, and you had Byron Scott shooting the ball. I think they had every aspect that you could enjoy from a team standpoint. Good perspective. And Booker kicks to Bloodsoe. Inside, Chris. And a great assist by Bloodsoe as that one goes in. Well, people are always talking about his scoring, but Bloodsoe, very good vision as well, finding the open man there. It's a pick by Love. Irving passes to LeBron. Thompson sets the pick for James. Good on the three-point shot. James has got 19 points. Add another triple to their second half total. I mean, since the break, they've been unconscious from distance. Chandler is screen. Bloodsoe for three. That doesn't go either for Bloodsoe. The Cavaliers leading by 18. The feed now to Love. Shot number 12 goes in. He's made 7 of 12 now. And, and really, with every point from this point on, it seems like they're just closer to finishing this one off. You know, give them credit for not easing up as we've come down the stretch. Here's Chris. Here's Tucker. Connects from three-point range. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Cavaliers. This was a very efficient offense tonight. And the, they found a way to get their shots to go down. A little luck didn't hurt. A lot of their 50-50 shots fell their way. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And so many key players that you could point to tonight, but in particular, a great game for Kyrie Irving. I thought he really played with a great amount of force. No one was going to deny him. He fought through a lot of defensive schemes, meant to slow him down, and still had himself a night. Now here's Bender. Lana screen. 
to the right wing. Dudley dishes to Barbosa for the three. Dudley, no luck. And even with good coverage defensively that time, he has confidence to drill the three. Here's Liggins. Here's Felder. And what was that about? Not a good shot right there. Outside Knight. Feeds it to Barbosa. From deep three-point range. So we see the Cavaliers taking the win here. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. You know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks very much, Kyrie. Nice win tonight. What was your thought process coming into the game? Uh, you know, I was just going out there trying to compete on every play, uh, trying to play as much defense as possible. Uh, you know, just sticking to our game plan. We had a game plan going in and we executed. Got it done at both ends of the floor, Kyrie. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldrich, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. And now time to send it over to the award-winning Ernie Johnson for the post-game show. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. Now it's time to present our Jordan player of the game, Kyrie Irving. Well, what got me the most was his three-point shooting. You know, he's always finding ways to get open, especially on the perimeter. And listen, when he gets those shots, he's definitely going to hit them. That was the key. His shooting made things much easier for them offensively. He had the scorer's mentality tonight. Yeah, you know, I think his coach knew it. His teammates knew it. And the fans even knew it. More than once, they gave him the rock and just simply got out of his way. Obviously, it worked for them tonight. And that's it for tonight. But we've got a whole new NBA season ahead of us. For Shaquille O'Neal, for Kenny the Jet Smith, for Kevin Harlan, wherever he might be, and the entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again very soon.